Attention! Go! I just, I love that Henley. The noise you get off the start. Both crews go out as hard and fast as they can. The crowd's going crazy off the blocks and the adrenaline that you get from that is incredible. Jack Smith there, the stroke of the Nottingham Rowing Club crew. You saw earlier Chris Laurie, the young man who strokes the ball ace quad and uh, race 20, there he is, uh, Chris Laurie in the British quadruple that's got a silver medal in the World Championships last year behind uh, Germany and in front of New Zealand and uh, rowing with him none other than Rowan Law and uh, Rowan Law is the two man that's uh, two from the right of your shot with the white Pete hat on these two men were in the same boat mark in the junior world championships last year that's the standard of scholars in these crews yeah and that is a it's such an impressive you know performance to go to the junior worlds win medals that doesn't come easy you know normally Germany is the kind of lead nation at juniors that seems to win it all the time and win the big medals. So the guys weren't far off them last year, but you know this is their pride and passion is racing for their score, and this is this is a big event for them. And there wasn't much in between these two crews in the times leading into this final. So you know this should be a close race. Well, it is a close race. I think uh, Nottingham Rowing Club on the Buck Station, they're closest to you. They have the lead, just going down the boat from left to right. That's Jack Smith in the stroke seat. You can see him there, closest to you, then James Morby, then Rowan Law. He's the man who scolded the British Junior Quads with his opposition, and then Harvey Kay in the bow seat with the distinctive blue peat cap. And uh, Borlays have had a little push there as we've been talking, Mark. Yeah, they've had a little move there. They had a little look across um, at the marker, and they just thought, right, this is the time to commit now, just to try and open up. You know, they, they do have a lot of experience in the crew, so they will try and put Nottingham under pressure early because this is a new position for Nottingham to be in a final where Borlays are the ones that have the experience. So, on the left of your picture, it's the men from the Midlands Nottingham Rowing Club in the final of the Four League Challenge Cup, the last race of the 20 finals, the fantastic finals we've had here at Henley Regatta. And there, stroking the uh, Sir William Borlays Grammar School boat, is Chris Laurie, the uh, Buckinghamshire school that has done so much for British Scully, a fantastic programme, and their coach, Robin Dow, has been leading that programme, and Borlays are leading the race at the halfway mark. Yeah, that programme's evolved. I remember when Ali Brown started it some time ago, then Dave Curry come in, and now Robin has kind of picked up the reins and kept developing it and moving it on. So, you know, the, the progression of that system has been happening over time. You know, people didn't know about it a long time ago, but now, the dominating win at Henley year after year. So, what is going through the minds of uh, the men in Nottingham Rowing Club? There we see their stroke man, Jack Smith. Where were you at this point in the race, Mark, 20 years ago? Well, I was exactly where the Nottingham are right now because, unfortunately, <laughs> I ejected off my seat on the start. We, <laughs> we went a left behind instantly. Got, I managed to get back on and then we had to chase the other crew all the way down the track and we started coming to the enclosures and as the noise got louder, we just seemed to get faster and faster and then gradually ground them down and then obviously cross the line first. So, you know, being a left down in junior quad is not the be-all and end-all. As long as they stay in contact, that's the most important thing. You have to stay in contact. And the Nottingham Ryan Club crew are doing just that, led by their stroke, Jack Smith. He's only 10 stone 13. Mark, he's an ideal lightweight. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the British lightweight team in the near future. Yeah, you know, I, start, I was in the position exactly where he is, sitting in the stroke seat. Um, not the biggest guy and then progress on to race at the international level so you know we've got high hopes for him to progress on but you know today he's just thinking about this final and he wants to cross that line first so a thrilling race the ball age crew put under real pressure there there is their stroke man uh, Chris Laurie behind him in the two seats you have, in the three seats you've got Biggs behind him then Wolfin and in the bows you've got Fraser Russell and that shot from the air was incredible. You could just see Nottingham moving back up. They're, they're just trying to claw their way back a man at a time. They don't want to just pounce on them straight away. It's just edging up. And by doing that, they'll start to put Borlays under pressure. 20 years later, I wonder if history is going to be revisited. The four men in the Borlays boat. Well, there's a Nottingham and a look across from Harvey Kay, the bowman. Yes, he's shouting. We're doing it. We are moving. But the Borlase men, Fraser Russell, Joe Wolfin, Rufus Biggs and Chris Laurie, the stroke man, are made of stern stuff. 
They won the school's head in fantastic style. They've got a new boat, a new Hudson shell just for this regatta, and they're making best use of it, but they have a two-thirds, three-quarters of a length lead. Come on, look at that view there. You've got both boats. They're in contact. Oh, coming into the regatta enclosure, and Nottingham really have to start moving now. They can't leave it too late. They have to start getting on even terms, but you've got the experience of Borlase. These guys have been here before. They understand what it's about, so this is going to be an incredible finish here. So uh, the bowman, Fraser Russell, we see him, Joe Wolfin in the shot, the three-man, Rufus Biggs, and then Chris Laurie, the stroke man, and uh, maybe despairing look from James Morby, the Nottingham Rowing Club. You don't have to despair, there's still time. And the little stroke man, Jack Smith, winds his crew on yet again. And that's it, you've got to keep that belief. If you do have a look, you've got to keep believing. And that's the thing that's most important. You've got to believe in the guys around you. What a shot, just maybe 20, 25 strokes to go to the finish. Sir William Borlase Grammar School, we're riding with them now. They are leading this race of the Fawley Challenge Cup. So many crews entered this race, tried to qualify. These are the two that's left. The bowman Harvey K looks round. Is it too late for Nottingham? The finish line gets ever closer. We get one more shot before the crews come up to the finish line. Borlase in the lead. Nottingham on the left, and it's Borlais, it's looking like they are unstoppable in the final moments of the Henley Regatta for 2015, the last race of 20. And here it is, Sir William Borlais Grammar School come up to the line. The Robin Dow coach crew take the Fawley Challenge Cup. The yes as they cross the line, what an amazing race that Nottingham Rowing Club served up. The cameras are with the winners, my thoughts are with the losers and the amazing race they rode. Chris Laurie puts his head in his hands, the junior world silver medalist. And, and you can see how much that means to those guys. You know, they've been here and done it before. He's got junior world medals, but this means everything to him to come to Henley and win again. You know, he's been working towards all season. He'll go off now and continue doing his international duties and competing for GB, but this is what he wants to do. He wants to win at Henley in front of the home crowd.